Our next speaker is uh, Yao Yao. He's coming from the University of Toronto. He's a first year PhD student with an ASPLOS paper and a research engineer at CentML that supports this work as well. Uh, moving forward, he works on ML and Tesla compilers. With that, Yao Yao, take it away. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to present a recent work, had a task mapping program paradigm for deep learning tensor programs. Um, previous uh, talks about tensor program, uh, sparse tensor programs. Now we're going to something dense. Um, this work is a collaboration between with my colleagues at U uh, University of Toronto, AWS, and supported by Sentinel. Uh, now the deep learning has great changed our life. For example, we can draw a single uh, grid finger with a simple description, or chat uh, with a chatbot in our daily language with a ch uh, ch chat GPT, for example. Um, at each one of these applications, there will be a bunch of tensor programs that will be executed under the hood. However, it's very expensive to run these applications. So it's very important to run them fast and to reduce the cost. Uh, there are different ways to generate and uh, optimize the tensor programs. For example, we can manually write the tensor program, such as in the Vendor libraries. However, it's very time consuming and uh, engineering heavy to do this because we need to optimize the performance for different operators, different input size, and uh, different hardwares. Um, to address this limitation, uh, the tensor compilers are proposed, such as TVM, to automatically generate the tensor programs and tune the performance. However, one limitation of the TVM is that it cannot have a good support for the non loop printed optimizations, which makes it has a suboptimal performance and non tuning time. Uh, in this work, we proposed a new way to construct tensor programs. We call it task mapping program paradigm. It has a good support for the non loop printed optimizations, and we can have up to 1.4 times speed up and 11 times less tuning time. Um, let's have, first have a look at uh, what TMN does and why it has limitation. Um, for each operator in TVM, we have a computation definition which defines how each element in the output are calculated mathematically, and we will generate a default pro uh, tensor program automatically from the def uh, computation definition. Usually, this default program is very slow, so uh, we, have, uh, we will ap apply a bunch of declarative schedule primitives to transform this default program into some more efficient form. For example, we can split a loop into some subloops or reorder the loops. There are a bunch of other um, loop transformations here. Um, after applying this uh, declarative schedule primitives, we can get a more efficient schedule tensor program and it will be compiled into the target code. Um, we call this kind of scheduling declarative loop oriented scheduling because it uses um, declarative schedule primitives to transform the loop structure of the tensor program. Um, we can use, uh, there are different hyperparameters used in the scale primitives, and uh, the choice is different um, for different hardware and the different input size. So we need to find the best one, and uh, the, the process is called kernel tuning. Um, there is a limitation of this kind of uh, scheduling. Start from the default program, we, will, uh, we can get a bunch of uh, tensor program by applying the primitives. However, there are some bunch of tensor programs that cannot be op uh, obtained in this way. Um, especially if the tensor program uh, needed some uh, non-loop oriented transformations, um, which makes TVM have a sub performance um, because it cannot express some optimization such as double buffering. And it cannot have a good support for the efficient partial type, um, which, it, uh, which makes it has a long tuning time. Um, I will give an example of the long no printed optimization here, but do, but do not look at the details of the code. Uh, we can discuss it in the poster session. For now, you just know that there is some optimization that needs fine grain manipulation of the loop body, but we cannot use loop transformation to do that. Um, and in this work, we propose a new uh, way to construct a program. We call it task mapping program paradigm. Instead of using the scale primitives to transform the tensor program, we proposed a new way we, um, to do that. Uh, there's a concept called task mapping to replace the schedule primitives. And uh, we directly write the task mapping in the tensor program and use it. And uh, we'll lower it to the target tensor program as TVM does. Um, to schedule the tensor program with task mapping, we'll first define the task mapping in the tensor program and uh, we'll give the worker index or thread index to the task mapping, 
and we will implement uh, each task in the loop body. And here we allow the fine grained manipulation of the uh, tensor program. Um, the task mapping contains all the information previously described by the schedule primitives, um, and now we can lower it to the concrete tensor program. Um, let's have a, have a look at the definition of the task mapping. Um, and each task mapping has a worker set which contains the set of parallel, parallelizable execution units um, that we want to schedule. For example, it can be some thread or works or thread blocks. And uh, there is a bunch of uh, tasks we described as a task domain that contains the hypercube of tasks that we need to schedule or work on. And the, what task mapping does is to map the worker index to a list of uh, tasks um, that that worker will work on. Uh, in previous example, we have a task mapping that maps worker index W to four tasks, and then the task can be directly calculated from the worker index. Uh, I will give two examples of, of the task mapping to help you to understand this concept. Um, here I will use the box to represent the task and the number in the box to represent the execution order of the tasks that assign to the same order, uh, same worker. And the different color in, of the box represent the assignment of the um, task that to different workers. And the first example is the repeat two by two uh, task mapping. It has a single worker and four tasks and we will assign all the tasks to the same worker. Um, the second task mapping is the special two by two, which uh, has the same number of tasks and uh, workers, and we will assign each worker a single task. And uh, we can generalize this idea to arbitrary number of dimensions. Um, and this, this two are very uh, essential task mapping that used, uh, will be used. Um, we observe that there, um, the task mapping used in a uh, tensor program usually has a hierarchical structure. Um, for example, um, for the repeat one three task mapping, we have three tasks here and one worker. If each task has uh, some subtask and each worker has some subworkers, and their, their relationship can be described as a, another task mapping, we can compose these two task mapping together to get a composed task mapping. Um, this task mapping composition operation can be used to generate new task mappings from the existing ones. Um, it's very powerful, uh, and I will give a practical, practical example here. Um, um, this, um, in the metrics multiplication on the uh, CUDA platform, we will partition the uh, same metrics into different, ti uh, different tiles, and this task mapping will map the uh, 256 threads in the thread block to the 128 by 128 elements in the C tile. Um, here, um, we describe that each thread will work on a four by four tile and uh, each, the layout of the 32 uh, threads in a warp. And uh, each warp will repeat two by two times and um, there will the layout of the eight warps in the thread block. In this simple way, we can describe the, the complex mapping from the thread blocks, uh, th threads in the thread block to different elements in the C matrix. Um, we implement uh, a new deep learning compiler called Habit from the, this idea. And uh, there are two intermediate representations here, the computation graph IR and the tensor program IR. Given a deep learning model has, that has been trained from a, um, deep, um, tr um, such as PyTorch, we can import that to a computation graph IR in Habit and do some graph level optimizations. For each operator, we'll use task mapping program paradigm to schedule it into a concrete tensor program and a bunch of uh, optimization applied and uh, generate the target code. And please read our paper to learn more about the uh, two scheduling mechanisms in the task mapping scheduling step and uh, the post-scheduling fusion. We can also discuss in the poster session. Um, to evaluate Headit, we compare Headit um, with uh, PyTorch, which is a commonly used training framework, and Onyx Runtime, it is a highly optimized um, uh, inference library. Both of them will use the manually written kernels and the vendor library. And we also compare Headit with TVM, which is a state-of-the-art deep learning compiler, and uh, equipped with two schedulers, of the TVM and Answer. We will um, benchmark this uh, deep learning compiler library on the deep learning five representative deep neural networks. Three of them are the convolution network and two of them are the LMP models. And the, we do this experiment on the RTX 3090 GPU. Um, here we compare the end-to-end -end latency optimized by the framework and compiler. And uh, we can see that head can achieve up to 1.48 times speed up and uh, 1.22 times speed up on average. Um, we also compare the 
tuning time with the two schedulers in TVM, the auto TVM and answer. Um, basically, we can reduce the tuning time from hours uh, or tens of hours to several tens of minutes. And uh, on average, we can achieve uh, by 11 times compared with answer and 20 times um, reduction in the tuning time compared with auto TVM. Um, we have uh, observed that um, TVM has the limitation that it can have, have a, not a good support for the non loop oriented optimizations. And the way we propose the new way to construct the tensor program, we call it task mapping program paradigm, which has a better support for the non loop oriented optimizations, which will allow us to have a better performance, and which can also support the uh, efficient partial tile and the, allow us to um, greatly reduce the schedule space and reduce the tuning time. We implement this idea in a new compiler called Headit and uh, achieve up to 1.4 times speed up and 20 times reduction in the tuning time. We have open source our code on GitHub and uh, have uh, integration in the um, PyTorch frontend so that you can directly use our tool via a single line of code uh, in, in your, in your, um, in your um, um, script. And the title has already been used in practice uh, to optimize some large language model kernels. Um, now, I'd like to answer any question here. 